majority of offensive pushes. And right now we're still scoreless as we're approaching halftime in game two. Oh. Matt with an opportunity right now, sends it towards the net. It's high off the crossbar. Sizz with another opportunity, what? misses. What? Gimmick misses <laughs> as well. What is happening right now? <laughs> Nobody wants to touch the ball. It's like magnets. Oh my God. Torment now into the corner. And Sizz oh, had a good read. Now another ball off the backboard. But now Sizz up to Jacob. A demo by Gimmick. Jacob puts that shot close, but just wide. And a miss there from Sizz. This ball's just going to roll right into the net. Cloud nine get the first goal of game number three. Just trying to see what ended up happening there. He's on back on the defense. And as he comes across, he just flips a little too early. Mechanical mistake. Not something we see too often. Unfortunate for them. They need to shake that one off. And with three minutes left in the game, still all the time in the world. This Cloud9 team not covering that back post. Nobody there in a position to get up for it. It's crazy what pinches can open up for a team. And Jacob being that impact player, like you said, that pinch was just perfect. But then also Torment needed to get that read. And now we see Joro getting involved, but not in the way you want to see it. Squishy getting credit for this own goal. Yeah, unfortunately for Joe, he was starting to move up a little bit, but had to turn back around. As soon as that ball came in, he went up for the jump, but unfortunately not too much boost in the tank. Gets up, gets it in his own. Miho, we heard him talking about him on the desk. We've heard Garrett G talk about this player as possibly being a top 10 player in the world. We'll see if he continues to hold up and what happened here. Nobody uh, wanted to touch it. Uh, nobody wants to talk about it, and I refuse. I'm not going. Over to the side. Back in the middle, and this was oh, it was Timmy with the own goal here. I am actually <laughs> not. Nope, nope. Rough situation there for CLG. A series <laughs> of unfortunate events sees them concede the first goal. With the lower car and cars like uh, the Octane, they do a very good job of with the ball's rotation coming towards the car, you slightly roll into it and it'll flip up on the top of your car. If you can flick uh, with a double jump, the ball pops up. It's a really good way to set up a shot, and you see someone like oh, Power. Oh, no. my what gosh. The, what in the world? He had so much time on this. You see Waffle set this one up off the wall. Best shot Kronovi. I've seen all day. <laughs> Kronovi, though, he, he, he realizes he's in the best spot. He's like, oh, wait, oh, and he touches it, and then he's like, wait, wait, no, and he touches it again, and it, what the, I, we're, I, I'm embarrassed that we called this the best team in America right now. Uh, yeah, Kronovi, that was interesting. <laughs> Confusion, but no advantage made by Evil Geniuses on the space given. Squishy tries to follow this, drip it with a pinch off the ceiling. Gimmick gets it back away, keeps the power on it too, so it's back to midfield. Just gimmick. Oh, oh, oh no. no, you're kidding. What just, no, are you kidding? No, Cloud9 throw game three, and we're going to game four, Chiefs. And Torment actually made a good play. He went to the, he immediately went back to his own uh, back wall after that initial clear from Gimmick off the back wall because he knew somebody from Evil Geniuses was going was gonna to be applying pressure. So he got right side or so goal on the other side of the field. And now Remco, though, trying to answer this one quick, goes way under that one. Machino Kronovi both giving that ball over to Maestro as he keeps the attack on for Northern Gaming. Pinch there from Maestro, keeps that at a neutral. He's going to back off and allow his teammates to move in, but no one there as I by Power have possession. And a nice clear back down into Northern Gaming's end. See if they can make attack here, but they all lose control of that ball. <laughs> like, like five cars is flying by. Ultimate mind game. All four people about to hit. <laughs> That's always great to see when everyone thinks someone else is going to hit the ball <laughs> and they try to block it. But there's a shot almost on that over zero. Just dropping down to Kronobi. Kronobi making a breakout. Maestro rushing to get back. Well, you know he's going to catch it, but still like. Uh, there's always that, that chance, moment. right? That yeah. big mistake. Energy has to be ready to react if they need to. As does uh, the Chiefs and, and their teammates. They have to be able to support. A light shot turned away by Justin. NRG trying to move down the field. Get off. shot off the post, trying to wrap around. Does he have another? He hit the post again. The oh shot my blocked. God! Oh my goodness! Justin comes in. The Chiefs could not close. Torsas is still there. Can he get a bump? Can they get an opening? Fireburner. He's sitting in that. He looks terrified. He does not want to leave this open. Okay. Not if it's squishy. Don't ever count him out. Cloud nine. Take a walloping for game number one. They'll look to keep it going here in game number two. Weedham girls looking to bounce back, hungry for the rematch. Struggled against Dignitas earlier, but they've had time to warm up, but this defense is not. Bull sending the cheat up. 
Dignitas ultimately will hold on to ball control, but ball is in their in their territory. And still lurking in midfield. Turbo now back down. Metzenaris with an L, an unfortunate touch that goes into his own net. He was trying to find a teammate, instead finds his own net. He's sitting in the midfield. I think he wants to pop that across. You saw Ignite actually, he was cheating up. He read that well. He was going into the corner, was ready to get it right off the wall and play it downfield for a quick transition. But Metzenaris, I think he recognized it in the middle of it, tried to correct himself.